So how long exactly is it gonna take for you to learn to code to the point where you can actually get your first software development job? Is it gonna take a few years? Is it gonna take a few months? Is it gonna take a few weeks? Like what is that realistic expectation? I mean, for a lot of you guys out there, this is the, you know, the million dollar question. This is like the holy grail of self-taught software developer questions because you wanna know if you're, if you're going to get into this, if you're already doing this now, if you're already studying a lot, like how much more do you have left to go? Where is the light at the end of the tunnel? And I definitely can feel your pain. I know when I did this on my own, that was always the question I had was like, is it gonna be 10 years? Like I had no idea, right? Like my expectations, I had no idea where they were grounded. I had just picked a goal and went for it. But in this video, I'm gonna cover that for you. So I'm gonna give you my take on it, my perspective on how long it's possibly gonna take for you based on work I've done with clients, based on my own journey as well. So. By the way, if you're new here and you're like, who the heck am I? I'm Andy Sterkwitz, I'm a self-taught software developer. I taught myself to code back in 2014 and I landed my first job in 2015. And I've dedicated this channel to help people do the same thing. So to land their first jobs, to learn to code. So definitely recommend to hit the subscribe button below. Also go down there and hit the bell icon as well so that you get all the new videos that I put out whenever I put them out. All right, so let's just go ahead and dive into this here. So. If we're gonna discuss expectations of how long it's gonna take for you to be ready to start applying for jobs, we have to really focus on why we're even trying to answer the question. This is not about some sort of philosophical endeavor, right? Like we're not trying to pontificate on what is the average amount it takes for the average person from the average back, like I don't care about that. And neither do you, by the way. This is not an intellectual debate. We're not trying to find the right answer. I really don't care about that. And again, neither do you. What you care about is you want proper expectations going into this. Because if you can have some expectation that's gonna take about a year to do this, let's say, it's just a random number that I'm pulling out of the hat here, then you can properly align your own emotional expectations. You can sort of harden yourself for the long journey that's coming ahead. But if I told you it was gonna take you know three weeks to do this, well, then you're gonna approach it completely differently. So we're not after the correct answer here. The correct answer is there is no correct answer. But what we're trying to do is just get proper expectations. So even beyond that, here's what I would say. Instead of pontificating and saying like, look, I've seen people do this in three months. I've seen people do this in three years. Where you fall on that skill meant, depends on so many different factors that we could list out a hundred of them. But what we're really trying to get at here is if you're gonna do this, so if you're gonna make this change in your life, you're gonna teach yourself to code, eventually land your first job, what you really need to do is sit down and create a roadmap for yourself. So a roadmap is as simple as this. You can list out the projects that you wanna build that you wanna put in your portfolio. So these are the big projects, right, that you wanna build that are gonna show that you know what you're doing. But you can also list out, for example, some programming languages you wanna learn, and I, don't, I do not recommend listing all of them out, uh, but just list out you know, the, the, the few that you wanna learn, and you should definitely get some guidance with this if you have any mentors or anybody in your life who works as a software developer who can just look it over for a few minutes. And then you can give yourself deadlines on those projects or the if there's any concepts that you wanna learn or anything like that, you can start giving yourself deadlines for. So let's say just again, pulling numbers out of a hat here, say you have six projects you wanna put in your portfolio. You can then go through each of those projects and say, you know, I'm gonna take a month of, to, eat, to complete each of those. And then you know, if it takes a month to complete six projects, then it's gonna be six months is what your plan is just to build out your portfolio projects. Then if you wanna learn something else, so say there are certain data structures and algorithms that you wanna learn, you can go one by one and list those out and say, I'm gonna do two weeks to do this one or you know one week to do this. And then you can kinda of see a timeline for how long this is gonna take. So just starting off, you can really plan and you can take a look and see like this is how long it's gonna take. And then you can figure out as you're going along, okay, is are my expectations, are they proper expectations? Is it taking longer for me to do some of these things? Am I moving faster? So can I shorten the timeline? And then you're starting to really develop a clear picture. It's not a perfect picture, but it's a clearer picture and it gives you a plan. So you can kind of see, maybe I have three or four months ahead. If you contrast that to how most people do this, right? So the average person do it, who I know the average person very well. I know you guys, I talk to you guys all the time about this. What you actually do is you kind of just pick a few books to read, a few tutorials. Maybe you'll build this project based on this tutorial and you don't really know how much longer you have to go. You, you're putting in time, right? You're learning uh, via these tutorials, these books, but you're like, okay, when I finish this one, should I read another one, right? Whereas if you have this roadmap and you can kind of see what projects you're aiming to build at some point, you can kind of get a better sense of how much time you have left before you're gonna get out there and start applying. 
right? Once you build a portfolio, once you've learned and learned most of the programming languages that you want to learn, there's really no time to waste beyond that, right? Then you can start preparing for the technical interviews for a few weeks to a month, and then you can start applying and get feedback about what you need to work on. So let's say you build a portfolio out, you go through everything, you learn everything that you've put out on your roadmap, and you go out and you start applying, if you get feedback during the technical interview, or even if you're not getting interviews, then you can go back to the table and try to figure things out and adjust and change the roadmap that you have. But ultimately that roadmap is gonna give you structure and really help you to aim your efforts in a clear direction. But without that roadmap, then yo, look, it could take three years, I have no idea. There are so many factors even beyond everything we've talked about here that really do affect how long it's gonna take. For example, I've mentioned it in a previous video as well. For example, if you have a engineering background, that helps a ton. I've worked with engineers before, they pick things up so much faster than the average person, much faster than I picked it up when I first started learning this. You know, if you as a young child worked with computers and you just feel more comfortable around them, that's gonna help. Even down to just have you done hard things before because software development, learning to code is hard. You have to do it for a, a long period of time. You have to be consistent. You have to you know study and, and learn a lot. If you're not used to that, then you may fall off. You may have gaps where you struggle through this. And that's another factor to put into play. Also, do you have a roadmap? Do you have a plan? Do you have mentors? Do you have guidance? All these things can help shorten or lengthen depending on what your situation is. So overall, I'd say like, look, this, this question is important. Like how long is it gonna take for you is an important question to answer. But ultimately what's more important is for you to create a roadmap for yourself so you can give yourself some expectations and you can see the path forward. If you don't see the path forward, then you're gonna bounce around between different tutorials, different books. You're gonna bounce around between different programming language, different frameworks, libraries, whatever it is. Every, anything that's, you know, on the, on the, uh, that's trending on YouTube or Twitter or whatever, you're just gonna go follow. But instead, if you have your plan, you're gonna see what's ahead of you and then you can make decisions based on that. So as always, guys, I hope this video has helped you. I hope this gives you some of my perspective of how I would approach it if I were just starting out. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as well. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. But other than that, that's all I really have for today. So thank you so much uh, for watching and peace out, guys.